The Fine Art of Small Talk, How to Start a Conversation, Keep It Going, Build Networking Skills, and Leave a Positive Impression, by Deborah Fine is a comprehensive guide that addresses the challenges many people face when it comes to initiating and maintaining conversations in social and professional settings. The book offers practical advice and actionable steps that help readers improve their conversational skills, build relationships through dialogue, and make lasting impressions. Fine begins by exploring the importance of small talk in everyday interactions. She emphasizes that small talk serves as a bridge to deeper relationships and can lead to opportunities in one's personal and professional life. It is a critical skill for networking, building rapport, and creating connections that could be beneficial in the long run. She also acknowledges that many people feel anxious or unsure about engaging in small talk, whether it's due to shyness, lack of confidence, or simply not knowing what to say. To overcome this, the author introduces a variety of strategies to start a conversation. She suggests being proactive by preparing topics in advance and being informed about current events, popular culture, and general topics of interest that can be conversation starters. Fine advises readers to pay attention to their surroundings and use context to initiate dialogue. She additionally encourages finding common ground with the person you're speaking to, as shared experiences or interests can create an instant connection. Active listening is another key component of successful small talk, according to Fine. She underscores the importance of being fully present in the conversation, showing genuine interest in what the other person has to say, and giving them your full attention. Active listening not only shows respect, but also provides information to fuel the conversation further. Fine includes tips for encouraging the other person to talk more, such as asking open-ended questions and making appropriate comments or observations that demonstrate you're engaged. In terms of keeping a conversation going, the author provides techniques to avoid dreaded silences and awkward pauses. One such technique is the use of conversation threading, which involves picking up on a word or phrase from the other person's response and weaving it into a new question or comment. She also addresses the importance of being attuned to the other person's body language and verbal cues, which can help in redirecting or deepening the conversation as needed. Fine also tackles the thorny issue of exiting conversations gracefully. She advises on polite ways to wrap up a dialogue without appearing rude or disinterested. The author suggests summarizing the conversation, offering a sincere closing remark, or providing a reason for needing to move on all while maintaining a pleasant demeanor. Moreover, the author provides guidance on how to navigate the specific challenges posed by different social and professional events, such as parties, conferences, and networking functions. She acknowledges the varying dynamics in these settings and offers tailored advice for each. For instance, in a networking situation, Fine stresses the importance of having a clear goal, such as meeting potential clients or finding industry contacts and then strategically initiating conversations that could lead to these connections. Building on the networking theme, Fine offers advice on how to follow up after an event. She places importance on sending timely and personalized follow-up communications, whether through email or handwritten notes. She argues that thoughtful follow-up is crucial for turning brief encounters into lasting connections and opportunities. Throughout the book, Fine includes anecdotes and examples to illustrate her points, making the advice relatable and understandable. For those who fear small talk, she offers encouragement by revealing that the ability to engage in small talk is not an innate trait, but a learned skill that can be developed through practice and perseverance. Fine also touches on the barriers to effective small talk, such as cultural differences and social anxiety. She offers strategies for overcoming these challenges and adapting one's approach to suit diverse contexts and individuals. The author emphasizes the need for sensitivity and awareness in conversations that might involve cultural nuances. Additionally, the author discusses the use of humor in conversation, a tool that can be highly effective when used appropriately. She provides guidance on how to introduce humor without causing offense or misunderstanding and how to recover if a joke falls flat. The idea is to keep the tone light and enjoyable, 
so all parties feel relaxed. The book also covers the role of etiquette in small talk, including topics to avoid, such as politics, religion, or personal finances, and how to handle conversations that veer into uncomfortable territory. She instructs readers on ways to steer the conversation back to neutral ground with tact and diplomacy. As for technological changes and their impact on small talk, Fine recognizes how digital communication has transformed the way people interact. She acknowledges that while technology can be a helpful tool for staying in touch, it should not replace the value of face-to-face -face conversation. In this context, she encourages readers to leverage technology for maintaining connections, but to also seek out opportunities for in-person interactions to build stronger relationships. In summary, the fine art of small talk equips readers with a toolkit of techniques, strategies, and insights to enhance their conversational skills. Deborah Fine's guidance aims to alleviate the anxiety associated with small talk, transforming it from a dreaded chore into an enjoyable and advantageous art form. With practice and application of the advice offered, readers can adeptly engage in small talk, thereby fostering meaningful connections, expanding their networks, and leaving positive impressions in both their personal lives and professional careers. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.